Hey guys, I'm going to be going over our Friday strength class with you. Um, a couple of things that you need for tomorrow. We're going to need either a sandbag or a duffel bag, book bag filled so it's heavy. Um, we're going to need a low chair. And then also either your paper plates or your valve slides. And then a set of dumbbells, light, heavy. Um, whichever works for you, or you can use your water gallons if you don't have any dumbbells. All right, so the first part of our Friday workout is going to be our core. We're going to be doing our ring of fire, and the first one is going to be our sandbag hollow hold. So we're going to go down on the grounds, and we're going to get our duffel bag or sandbag, or whichever you have, and we're going to hold this over our heads. Just like that, bring your arms behind your head so you have a little bit more um, weight there and it's a little harder. And then from there, we're gonna have our valve slide body saw. So we're gonna get on our valve slides or our paper plates or whichever you have. We're gonna come down into a low plank here and we are going to saw just like that. Keeping our back nice and flat don't sink those hips, extend out, and come back shoulders over elbows. And then we have our side plank with hip lift. So you can either do this with your bottom knee bent, or it's gonna be a side plank with leg lift. Just like that. Or you can make it a little bit more harder. Keep that bottom leg straight and lift your leg. You can put your hand behind your head, just like that. And that's our ring of fire, our core circuit. Now we're going to go into our strength circuit. The first exercise for our strength is going to be our um, rear foot elevated squat. So you can grab your set of dumbbells if you want for this, or you can do it without dumbbells. And you are going to grab your low chair, put your foot up there, and we're going to just squat like that. Or you can also do this without the dumbbells. Keep your lats engaged and then you would switch legs then we have our lying unilateral reach with extension so we're going to go onto the ground our legs are going to be bent we are going to come down straight back up extend come back down straight up and extend so the heavier the dumbbell, the more work you'll feel on your shoulders and your tricep. And then we have our single leg um, foot elevated bridge. So we're gonna come up, use our low chair again. And we're just going to bridge like that with our foot elevated and our one leg up. And then we'll switch sides. So you're really gonna feel this in your hamstrings. It's a great hamstring exercise. Oh, and you can also put a dumbbell on your hips if you wanna add some weight to that. Then we have our squatting single dumbbell preacher curl. So we're gonna grab our dumbbell, go into a squatted position here, rest our elbows on our knees, and we are going to just do a curl, just like that. Perfect. Then we have our bridge single arm dumbbell press. So we're gonna come back down to the ground. We're gonna go into a bridge position. Lift those hips, elbow to floor. Other hand, hand is gonna be stable on the ground and you're gonna press. If you want, you can lift your hips when you come up, bring your hips down when you come down with the dumbbell. Or leave it up the whole time and then you would switch sides. Ooh, very good. And then our last one, we have our back widow. So, what we're doing here is we're coming down to the ground. Our legs are bent, knees are bent. You're not putting any weight on the feet during this exercise. Our elbows are coming out to our sides and we are putting all that weight on our elbows 
and we are lifting our back. And again, lift the back. So you should see from this angle, you're going to lift those shoulders, come back down. So you're gonna really feel this in your upper back. Lift up, so no weight on that feet, on those feet, all the weights on your shoulders and your elbows. And that's our back widow. All right, that concludes my demonstration for Friday strength. I can't wait to see you there.